हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर जे पी क्लासेस आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन फ्रेंड्स टूडेज क्लास इज ऑन हाउ टू राइट ए रिसर्च प्रपोजल इन रिसर्च प्रपोजल देर इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स फर्स्ट रिसर्च देन प्रपोजल रिसर्च इज डिफाइंड एज द क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू नॉलेज एंड द यूज ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग नॉलेज इन ए न्यू एंड क्रिएटिव वे सो एज टू जेनरेट न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट मेथोलॉजीज एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग it is a systematic process to discover new knowledge to find answers to a questions then proposal proposal means plan or suggestions normally it is on written form then what is research proposal in this video we will learn what is research proposal research proposal describes research proposal should be steps of writing a research proposal let's discuss one by one at first what is research proposal the research proposal is the document you draft when you want to propose a research project sometimes the goal is to find sponsorship for the research project in other cases it is meant to underline why a specific field of research is crucial it is a formal document usually using academic language justifying the need for a particular research project when we plan for a research we draft a research proposal research proposal simply a structured formal document that explain what you plan to research that is your research topic why it is worth researching and what are the benefits of doing this research your justification how you plan to investigate it here include research methodology design sample sampling plan questionnaire research proposal is based on practical approach usually we are using research proposal in the academic point of view and we also justify the need for doing this project a research proposal describes how researcher will do the research a written plan of a research then a plan of action for conducting research then a step by step plan for conducting the study writing a research proposal three things are very important first that is your research topic then your justification what are the benefits of doing this research then the practical approach how you plan to investigate it here include research methodology design sample sampling plan questionnaire etc a research proposal should be clear and specific with proper guidelines steps included according to the type of research or study with proper citation the research proposal should be drafted in future tense and in expected manner in research proposal you should highlight its originality or significance in clear and specific manner then explain how it develops or challenges existing knowledge with proper guideline then steps are included according to the types of research identify the importance of your proposed research and demonstrate why you are the correct person to undertake this research project these are the following steps of a research proposal but it varies on what type of research you have choose what type of research you have plan for a research proposal the types of research are experimental historical ethnographic then action research survey correlational and casual comparative you choose any one out of them that is fit for your research work then steps of writing a research proposal different researcher use different steps for writing a research proposal but most proposals should contain at least these elements first title of your project that should be clear indicator of the objective of your project and keep the title concise and to the point first step introduction then review of related literature then research design 
then data analysis and expected findings then reference list or bibliography last step is budget and expected schedule let us discuss one by one first step introduction it is the first part of proposal it explains what researcher want to do and why it should introduce the topic give background and context it gives these outlines first statement of the problem then objective of the study and research questions the outlines of following three points are comes under the introduction part in the introduction part the researcher explain what to do and why this is the part the language and the tone must match the rest of the proposal this is the part that can make your document memorable in the statement of problem part the researcher has to show why this research is necessary and how it fit with rest of the literature that exists on the project in this part the researcher point out that conducting research is innovative and that will have positive outcomes in objectives of the study part the researcher clearly explain the key objectives of the research proposal the objectives of research proposal should be based on smart format s m a r t s stands for specific objective should be clearly written and leave no room for confusion then m m stands for measurable making your objective measurable is essential to achieving your objectives then a stands for achievable makes your you have the resources and budget to accomplish your objectives then r stands for relevant make your objective relevant to your research and your overall goals this can help you stay motivated and on track throughout your research then t stands for time based you can establish deadlines to help you keep your research process on track you can set a major deadline for your entire project as well as smaller deadlines for each objective then research question make sure the research questions provide a framework for reporting the results and discussion later and the questions serve to establish the link between the proposed research with previous research so it is necessary the research question should be well defined and should be focused the second step of research proposal is review of related literature this step shows path to the researcher it also shows that researcher not simply repeating what other people have already done or said its aim to demonstrate exactly how present research will contribute to conversation in the field its main aim is sharing of thoughts and ideas to other researcher this step help the researcher to know about the five c's that is cite compare contrast critic then connect the first point is cite here the researcher keep the primary focus on literature that is relevant or applicable to a particular method then compare the various arguments theories methodologies and findings expressed in the literature here the different types of questions comes to the researcher mind that is what do the authors agree on who applies similar approaches to analyzing the research problem then contrast in the contrast step the researcher know about what are the major areas of disagreement controversy or debate in critic step the researcher wants to know which approaches findings methodology seen most reliable valid or appropriate and why in connect stage the researcher know about their own area of research and investigation here the researcher know about their own work draw upon and synthesize what has been said in the literature 
द रिव्यू ऑफ रिलेटेड लिटरेचर हेल्प द रिसर्चर टू बी क्रिटिकल एंड इट ऑल्सो क्वाइट हेल्पफुल टू द रिसर्चर टू शो हाउ प्रेजेंट स्टडी फिट्स इन द मॉडर्न कॉन्टेस्ट और सॉल्व डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर अरेजेस इन आवर मॉडर्न सोसाइटी एंड एवरी पार्थ ऑफ आवर लाइफ द थर्ड स्टेप ऑफ रिसर्च प्रपोजल इज रिसर्च डिजाइन रिसर्च डिजाइन और मेथोडोलॉजी सेक्शन शुड डिस्क्राइब द ओवरऑल अप्रोच एंड प्रैक्टिकल स्टेप्स रिसर्चर विल टेक टू आंसर द रिसर्च क्वेश्चन इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल स्टेप्स एंड हियर द रिसर्चर विल हैव आंसर द रिसर्च क्वेश्चन अबाउट रिसर्च टाइप दैट इज विल यू डू क्वालिटेटिव और क्वान्टिटेटिव रिसर्च Will you collect original data or work with primary or secondary source? Is this research design descriptive or experimental, etc.? Then source: How will researcher select subjects or sources? What type of research method use? What tools and procedure will researcher use to collect and analyze data? Why are these the best method to answer the research questions in this step the researcher highlights the breadth and depth of research and identify variables and what type of data collect about data collection plan give a detailed sampling plan the target population sample size etc included here also included what type of instrument will be used to gather data whether it is test or different techniques use surveys etc in this stage the researcher also describe how the study will be conducted when how where and by whom the data will be collected and the researcher also describe what type of statistical test used for conducting this research this step is a practical step of research proposal so the researcher must related their study to the research objectives then the fourth step of writing a research proposal is data analysis and findings to finish the proposal on a strong note a researcher can explore the potential implication of the research for theory or practice that are expected findings implication and contribution to knowledge suggestions and suggestion for the further studies limitation of the study then conclusion all sub steps are included in data analysis and findings in the data analysis section as a researcher you will show how you plan to use the data you gathered these sections deals with the reduction and reconstruction of data and its analysis including sample size calculation The researcher is expected to explain the steps adopted for coding and sorting the data obtained. In the implication and contribution to knowledge section, the researcher show how does the proposed research related to the existing knowledge in the area, how it develops knowledge of an existing practice, and it also develops theory, expands the current knowledge. current research methodology and the purpose research is also related to a current technological issue all the points are included in this section in the suggestions and suggestion for further studies the researcher need to purpose four to five suggestion for further studies and this can include findings of your study address the limitations of your study and providing the idea constructing the same research in a new context and a new location and culture in the limitation of the study section the researcher shows that the proposed research will not be free from limitations and this may relate to formulation of research aim and objective application of data collection method sample size scope of discussion and analysis etc here the researcher provide the area that will be considered in the proposed research and provide justification why it is being considered 
giving an idea to the other researcher to you can change and increase the sample size change the location in order to meet the challenge of modern society in the conclusion section as a researcher you strongly point out your point that why this particular topic is worth researching and what are the benefits of doing this research again state it clearly in the conclusion section and summarize the main points of your research connect the significance or results of the main point here the researcher avoid repeating information that you have already discussed while writing a research proposal in this step the researcher include reference list or bibliography your research proposal must include proper citation for every source which are used in the research proposal then full publication details should always be included in the reference list the term reference list and bibliography are sometimes used interchangeably but the difference between reference and bibliography is a reference list contains only source you have cited in test in your assignments a bibliography is a list of all the source you used to generate your ideas about the topic including those cited in your assignment as well as those you did not cite both reference and bibliographies appear at the end of a scholarly work finally the researcher include one to four high impact research works related to your research as a reference in your research proposal and usually arrange the reference list in alphabetical order the last part of writing a research proposal that is budget and expected schedule this section is mainly based on applying for research funding these are the following sub steps cost travel cost materials assistance and time in cost part the researcher prepare a list exactly how much money need for the research to determine research budget in travel cost the researcher point out there is any need to go to specific location to collect data how long he will spend the in the material section the points included is there any need access to any tools or technologies then are they training or cost associated with the research proposal then is there any need to hire research assistants for the project or research assistant for data gathering and experimentation work when the researcher prepares a research budget he or she should predict and cost all aspects of the research and then add an additional allowance for unpredictable disaster delays and rising cost but all items in the budget section should be justified then time how much will researcher need to cover the time spent on the research time is an important element of any research design to be a successful researcher it is important to remain focused on your work effective time management can make the researcher to be more productive at last we can say that for systematic work and step by step approach there is necessity of research proposal because it provides guideline to conducting a good research at the same time helps researchers with funding grant opportunities for doing research project that's all about how to write a good research proposal friends if my video provides you little bit information then do like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification when the new videos are uploaded thank you for watching stay tuned have a nice day